What up, YouTube? Yeah, this is my uh, new build. I just finished it a couple of days ago. Um, this bike, brand new from Walmart, is $150 plus tax is $160. I actually bought this from a guy on OfferUp for $60. Bucks. And I'm really surprised with the quality of the bike. Come, it came with front disc. Um, and the wheels on it, they're actually double wall rims. I mean, Walmart, they usually, the bikes usually don't come with double wall. And it actually has a, a better crank on it than your typical Walmart bikes. Yeah, this is, this crank, and here's a Walmart crank. Yeah, right. See how skinny that is? It's real cheap. Yeah, I paid $130 for this, the Mongoose. Then with tax, it was like 138 or something like that. Yeah. The wheels are 27.5, and they're, they are not double wall. And what else? Yeah, it didn't come with a better crank. No disc brake. So basically... For an extra 30 bucks, you get a better crank and double wall rims. Yeah, the frame on this is steel. And you also get, I don't know if it's a better derailleur or not. Wait, actually, this is this. It's the same derailleur, but this derailleur came off a different bike. This is I can't remember. Wait, I think I got it over here. Yeah, this one came with this derailleur. This one right here is the cheapest one that you can buy if you need to buy a replacement. Yeah, the mongoose came with this one. So yeah, well, basically, an extra thirty bucks. You get a better bike and what I like mainly about this about the Schwinn over here is that it has front disc brakes and double wall rims yeah, actually I'm running a 32 2 sprocket on this oh and it came with a better kickstand so yep yeah, I recommend if you guys are building your first bike, don't go and get the cheapest bike there is at Walmart for like 80, 90 bucks. It will not last. I mean, when you go to buy a bike, things you want to look for are the rims. First off, like you can tell by the way this is shaped that it's double wall. See how it has like the notch? And over here, these are single wall. See how it's kind of flatter? Yep, so now I got three bikes. Yeah, this was my daily, daily commuter. Now I'm using the Swin. This is my fast bike. It has a window piston, OZ reed valve, high compression head. Uh, it's fully ported. Um, the cylinder is 47 millimeter iron sleeved. Yeah, I barely ride this bike ever since my neighbors and co the cops on me saying my bikes are too loud. I haven't been riding them that much except to and from work and the grocery store, or whatever. At yeah, I'm really impressed with this bike. I would definitely build another one. The chain lined up, like, excellent. The only thing... Oh, another thing I like about it is that I didn't have to use the universal mount, so I actually have had more room. Yeah, if I would have used the universal mount, it would not fit. But the frame is kind of weird. It's like a circle underneath and up top, and it goes into a triangle. I mean, I have a little gap right there. You see it? But the engine doesn't move, so it's actually working out good. 
kind of worried about that. I was going to put some JB weld or something in it and try to fill it in, but once I tightened down everything, it didn't move at all. You know, and I know I've been talking about it. Rebuilding this engine over here. I'm going to show you how to tear it down. I'm actually waiting on uh, some gaskets and some new bearings for it. And I need to get a new crank because the crank in there is bad. Yeah, that was a brand new bottom end. And it shook so bad that I couldn't even ride it. Basically, it's a gamble. I mean, a lot of people complain about, like, how cheap they are and stuff. I mean, for the most part, they're reliable if you use the right amount of oil and take care of them. But if you get an engine with a bad crank, I mean, you you can't run it. I mean, you can, but your engine's gonna, the bearings are gonna, like, go out within, like, a real short period and can destroy the whole engine. Because you'll get pieces up in your cylinder and they'll scratch everything up. So basically, the engine's just sitting there. But yeah, that's my bike, so I'll keep you guys updated. Please, uh, like, subscribe, and share to my channel. And, yeah, I highly recommend this bike. I was really impressed. Like I said, you gotta know what. When you go out and buy a bike, look for better components. I mean, if you're not real sure what to look for, you can always Google it on the internet or ask someone at the store. I don't know about Walmart because they're not really bike certified, but definitely give it, like... Check out the rims. Make sure they're double wall. I mean, if anything, you can always take buy the bike, take it to your house, and if they're not double wall, just return the bike and get a different one. But anything under $150 is not going to have double wall rims. I was actually surprised because this Nashiki over here, I paid 200 bucks and it came and didn't come with double wall rims. This bike over here, this Nishiki, it came with double wall rims and it had a better rear derailleur, speed shifters, exact same price, which makes no sense. I mean, you'd think the more money, I mean, the same amount of money would have the same quality. No. Some bikes are better than others, but they charge the same or less or whatever for a better bike when you spend more on a different bike and it has shittier components.